um I avoided doing this video because I thought that it would be boring and there's a decent chance that it will be boring I think that probably somebody out there has requested this The apartment tour Come in I'm nervous. There's a lot to cover here. Come closer. You have to like come, you okay, know, got in, it. In, in, you know. Yeah, I'll start paying a better attention. Thank you. Yeah, you're not doing good so far. <laughs> Fun fact about this light switch. There's two of them. One of them turns on this light. The other one turns on and off the outlets over there. It turns off my computer, which is a problem because when people come in and turn on this light, or at least attempt to turn on that light, sometimes they'll turn on this switch, which turns off my computer, which means I have to restart my whole computer. Um, my mom almost, almost just trimmed over the lamp and she knocked her head on the lamp and I'm uncomfortable. The lamp that my mom just hurt herself on is this lamp. I got it from Ikea, the only reason why I bought it is because it looks like the Pixar lamp and I thought that was kind of funny and then I bought it. You have this sitting area that no one fucking uses. I don't think I've ever seen someone sit in this in my life. Good one on that one, Emma, because I designed this whole apartment, so if you don't like it, don't tell me, because it's gonna hurt my feelings. I have my work area. Funny story, I don't actually really work in this area anymore because I like to do my stuff on my, are you even showing me right now? Yeah. Because I like to do my work in my bed, on my laptop. So I don't even really use this thing anymore, but whatever, come on. This is my banana light. <laughs> No one fucking cares. Okay, well, here's a chair. I put this together by myself and it was so difficult that I actually like almost broke it nine times while trying to build it because I had to hold this and sit on it to like lock it into place or whatever. Got my leg all tangled up in it and fell over. It was really bad. Okay, I have a printer that I don't know how to use. My mom told me to get it. I haven't figured out a way to use it since. This is where I keep all my camera equipment, which isn't a lot. I don't really need equipment for my videos because I put the least amount of effort in as possible. And then over here, why the fuck do I have a toothbrush in here? Okay, funny story, over here I have my home phone. You can show me, I'm more important than the home phone. Why do I have a home phone, you may ask? It's because look around everyone. Everything's made out of cement. Come back to me now. This is gonna be a long video. There's no connection in here, so if you wanna call anyone, you have to use Wi-Fi calling, like Wi-Fi is this calling, or you have to use the home phone. My mom likes to use that when I don't wake up in the morning and she has to like call me to wake me up. It's like a little oh. DIY alarm that we have going. And then I have stupid shit. I have my Polaroid wall, but all the Polaroids are falling off because the sticky stuff that I used didn't work that well apparently. Maybe one day I'll hang them back up again. I also have cranberry gummies because you never know when you're gonna get a UTI. It's more than you would expect. Here's my first mirror. There's actually many more to come. This one is from Ikea and it's amazing. By the way, most of my furniture is from Urban Outfitters. Yeah, here's my living room. I actually don't have a TV. Look at what's across from me. No television. Because television rots your brain. And so I didn't want one. But I do have this yellow couch. One time one of my friends uh, leaked period blood onto this couch. You know who you are. And it actually cleaned off super easily. So that was kind of good. I'm pretty proud of that. This rug is completely dirty because it's white. So don't ever buy a white rug because it's going to get dirty in two minutes. Coffee table, book about coffee, which I think one of you guys sent to me. So thank you for that. Coasters, which is stupid because this is an acrylic table. So you don't even need to have fucking coasters on it. But I have coasters anyway because I think it looks cute. You can come closer and like show the stuff. Like you're just like standing over there. Nice. Then we have these chairs, which I also built myself. It was so hard to build these chairs, but I did it. This is such a cute fucking pillow. This is not a cute fucking pillow. This is the cutest pillow I've ever seen. It's so fucking cute. Where'd you get? None of your business. Just kidding, it's from World Market. Ugh, I hate that store. I hate World Market. I thought that was Target. No, that's from World Market. Hmm. I don't, I think, who cares? Maybe that was from Target. <laughs> Whatever, maybe it was from Target. Figure it out yourself. <laughs> then I have this pillow from Urban Outfitters and I personally don't really like that this has words on it. I think it's a little bit cliche. So sometimes I like to turn it around when I want to feel like I'm a real woman. What? I normally have blankets in this, but where are they? I'm asking you. I know, they're in my nest. Sorry, it's in my nest. Okay, we're not gonna tell what the nest is because that's just kind of weird. They're Okay, that's, that's just kind of weird. I don't want to make you look weird. There used to be blankets in that, but there's not anymore. Disappeared, combusted into thin air. Not combusted, that's not the right. Uh, dissipated, something. It disappeared, but there usually is fluffy blankets in here. So, sorry. This is a very cute pillow. I bought so many pillows when I moved here, and I used one fourth of them. So these are all the ones that made the cut. I don't know why that one's still out, because I don't even like that one. <laughs> 
reminds me of this. This is something that my mom told me I had to buy, and I didn't really want to, but now that it's here, I'm really glad I did. Like, what's even in this? Like, I don't fucking know. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? It's just stupid shit. Stupid shit. These are just things that my dad hung up for me, and I have, like, little fuck. You see what it is. It's boring. And then I have this, which I thought was just, like, a little artistic addition. That's it. I just thought it was like kind of like quirky of me because like that's for like an art class But I bought it for a decoration. This is my next mirror This milk mirror is a little bit wonky because it makes you look taller than you are Which is really not a problem because I wish I was taller. I'm only 5'5". Five five. Or maybe I'm 5'6 now. What do you think? Mm, pretty close. Okay, watch out guys I'm going through puberty a little bit late, but I'm still going through it. So next we have this I do not have any good decorations for this yet whatsoever. Like this is not good. We have a speaker We have like this little thing. We have books and magazines and like watering can. Why do I have that? I don't know. I don't have anything to water. Wait, yes I do. But I don't water those. Do you think I water those? Fuck no I don't. I've never watered those a day in my damn life. Not gonna do it anytime soon. Then I have a trash can with these things in it and I want to use this out as a trash can but I can't because I don't have a fucking vase for that yet and I have to just wait around and put it in the fucking trash can for now. Then I have this rug that really pisses me off. It's all great shaped and everything, right? And then it just has a flat edge. Like you see what I'm saying? Like this edge is just flat because I think it's meant to go against a wall. But the thing is like it doesn't look good. Like it like it Leave me alone. Then I have this stool that I was gonna use for upstairs at my vanity, but I ended up not using it because it was really uncomfortable and not the right height. That's annoying. Under here is all the shit that I don't want people to see. Well, I don't want people to see it, so I'm not, it's just trash and other shit that I'm not using. So I'm just gonna blur all that out. You don't even know what's over there. It's my little Harry Potter under the stairs moment. Even though I feel kind of bad saying that because like that says that Harry Potter was like not wanted under the stairs But like I love Harry Potter and I feel like he was wanted in my heart. Do you know what I'm saying? That makes sense. I love Harry Potter. Oh, 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 I have this clock, which I love so much. I don't even know if this is on the right time. And it wouldn't matter anyway, because I don't know how to read this kind of clock because I was born in 2001. We never had to learn how to read those. Oh, here's my fire alarm. It goes off literally once a day. I'm not getting once a day. No one knows why. One time I was having a sleepover with all my buddies. All my buddies, there was like two of us here, not really a lot of buddies. And the fire alarm went off at 5 a.m. We all had to go outside. So that was really fucking annoying because there wasn't even a fire and the fire alarm went off for 20 minutes. But it's okay because I'm grateful because I'd rather it be overly sensitive than not sensitive enough, you know? Right? Okay. This is my fridge. Uh, I don't like showing people my fridge. Mm, I guess I can show this. I just don't like, I feel like fridges are so intimate. That's really vulnerable. Like I'm already showing you my apartment. I'm not gonna show you my fridge. Okay, fine, I'll show you for a sec. Oh my God. <laughs> when I first moved into this apartment, I bought a hundred of these. If anyone wants to come over and eat those, let me know because I bought too many and now I'm sick of them. Never used that blender before. Avocados that I probably will need and then they'll go bad. My dishwasher. Oh, there's dishes in it. Thank God my mom's visiting because she did that. I didn't. No one cares about this shit. Let me find them clean. Like, no. Here's my trash cans. I don't take them out a lot. I'm really starting to get good at being my own garbage compressor where I will take the garbage out and I'll start stomping on it really hard until it flattens out until a tiny little, tiny little clump and then I just keep putting more trash on top of it. Here's my sink. I just found out the other day that I have this. Didn't know I had that. Not proud of that. Then, no, anything, no, boring, 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 boring. Oh, what is this? Is this my merch? But if you stay till the end of the video, I'm going to announce to you that I'm selling now. Stay tuned if you want to know about it. Now I have a Polaroid frame that I don't have Polaroids in because I'm too lazy. Table, I eat on this. No shit, bitch! If you've been seeing paintings around my house, it's because my dad painted them, because my dad is an artist. So these are his paintings. They're really good. See, here's another one. They're fucking everywhere. This is my closet. This closet's kind of a fucking mess. So much shit in here. All my fucking jackets, as you can probably tell, I have an addiction to jackets. I like buying them, and that's all that matters. With Lisa's endorphins for about two seconds, and then I want to die again. Toilet paper. You don't give a fuck. Then I have this stepping stool for if I have to do work around the house. <laughs> fuck. Here's a bathroom. Why are you being shy? So I have these. And then I have this, which I don't do anything with. That's a lie, actually. <laughs> Little kind of 
little sneak peek into my life. Have you ever heard of a squatty potty? <laughs> Sorry, a booger just blew out. This thing where when you're taking a shit, you can put your feet up on it. Then it helps you shit better. See, I don't have one downstairs. I do have one in my upstairs bathroom, but I don't have one in my downstairs bathroom, so that's why. So I do have that. It's squatty potty. I have this cow rug. Does that look real to you? No, it doesn't. Okay, I have four tampons in here. Why only four? Okay, that's fucking weird. Face masks that I never use, because I always buy face masks and then never use them because like, I don't know, fuck it. No one cares about that. This is a, this, this is my drug drawer. Okay, so I'm not gonna be showing what I have in there. And it may or may not be because I have medicine that you shove up your ass in that. We're not doing that. Let's go upstairs, shall we? Oh, we also have this here window. It's very nice. It's a very open apartment, so you don't really get much privacy. There's really no doors. We're almost to the end. Thank God, right? I'm sick of this video, too. Starting out, here's my vanity. Here's all my makeup that I don't use. Whatever, it's a mess. Oh, all my chapstick. That is something right there. Is that not something right there? That's fucking something right there. Makeup palettes. That's it. Here's my backpack that I use every single day because I don't like purses. Do I look like I would have a purse? Incorrect, I wouldn't. All my necklaces because you gotta keep them untangled. Look how fucking awesome that is. It keeps them all untangled and stuff. And you're probably like, Emma, why do you have a pair of scissors right here? And I have an answer for you. That is because those are my car scissors and they somehow were removed from my car. If you need one thing in your glove de compartment, glove department, if you need one thing in your glove department, if you need one thing in your glove, gl glove companion, one thing in your glove department, one thing in your glove compartment. It's scissors and a nail clipper. I have this fucking cool ass Salvador Dali clock that's melting off my damn thing. Bob Ross rug, because I'm, I mean mug, because I'm fucking quirky and shit. And my record player that I do not know how to use. I have no fucking idea. Jewelry, dumb shit. This salt lamp, which if you lick it, it actually tastes like salt. I'm just saying. Then I have another one of these storage things that I don't even know what's in it. No, nope, nothing. <laughs> Because oh we, we, it just got built. We need to figure out what's gonna go in it. Oh my God, that's awesome. I have my glasses that I wear sometimes because I have astigmatism. And then I have this best chapstick I've ever used in my life. It's so good, it smells like birthday cake and it makes me have a big boner. I have another one of these fucking burned out candles because I left it going when I wasn't home and then it burned my apartment down almost. <laughs> Here's my bed. I have a stain on my bed, but I'm covering it with my laptop because that's kind of gross. It's not my fault I don't like putting in tampons at night. Let me show you my record collection. I have two. Rex Orange County and Tyler the Creator have never listened to either of these because I don't know how to use my fucking record player. These hoes are from Urban Outfitters and they're the best fucking blankets you'll ever use. I have literally probably 15 of them. Really embarrassing. This is my beanbag chair that is literally Rock hard. The first time I got it, I ran and jumped on it and I basically broke my fucking tailbone. I never sit in this because I'm always in my bed. But it's really cute that it's here though. I really appreciate the effort. I take mirror selfies in this a lot. Everything about this is boring except for this mini feel issue. How cute is that? I fucking love mini shit like that. That's why when I was little I had tech decks. There's like mini stuff. Closet. I'm not talking about this. You wouldn't care about that if I paid you to care about it. There's my AC, which I always have on a whopping 60 degrees because I like it to be fucking cold in here so my nipples are always hard. In here, washer and dryer. Are you doing a load of laundry? I'm gonna. You didn't even ask me for permission. And this is my apartment. <laughs> this yeah. is my favorite room in the house. I just like to sit right here and like read stuff about it. Like storing items near heat producing devices can cause fires. Utilizing this area for storage is prohibited. How would I have known that if I didn't just read it right now? Near the fucking whatever the fuck. I don't even know what this is. Water heater? Burn him. Beats me. Doesn't matter. It's my favorite room in the house. This is my bathroom. Take a lot of shits in here. Let me tell you about something. You need to get that shit out. Lean back. <laughs> let it take it. <laughs> lean back and just watch the magic. One more time. Lean back. Watch the magic happen. Let me fix this. Oh, well, I know, I know. <laughs> so many toothbrushes in here, and I have no clue which ones are mine and which one are like just like my friends that like sleep here sometimes. And sometimes I accidentally probably use theirs when they come and visit and hang out with me. They pick out their toothbrush, and I'm like, oh my god, I used that one last week. <laughs> this happens to me a lot. <laughs> this is where I never go. I'm very rarely in here. I was in here a few nights ago. Um, don't really know much about this space. You can normally find me by the furnace. Not really over here as much. There's just nothing for me to do in here. 
Don't really use that. Last but not least. Is this the last thing? Please tell me this is the last thing I'm done. This is my clothing rack that I bought because I have an addiction to buying clothes that I don't need and then I run out of space and now I have this rack. So, oh, what's this? This is weird. What's that? That? No, that's weird. I didn't put any of this stuff here. This? What's going on? This is weird. Who's that? Weird. Wait, let's keep trying. See if we get some stuff that I put here, because I didn't put that there. What? This too? Weird. It's my merch. My merch is on sale now. You can buy it if you want or not. I mean, it's fine. It's up to you. I don't really know if you want it or not. I worked really hard on it, and I think you would like it, but it's up to you if you want it or not. Link is in the bio, as all the YouTubers say. Hope you love it. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, keep having an amazing day. Be yourself. So that's it for my house tour. Sorry, this is not a house. That's it for my apartment tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. I hope that it was interesting to you. If not, that's fine because like I did my best, you know, and I try to make it fun. And if you didn't like it, that's not my fault. I kind of don't blame you though because apartment tours are fucking boring. Thank you for watching. I'm so tired right now. I can't. My personality's gone. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, good. Um, And yeah, and that's it. Well, I love you a lot and I'm really grateful for you and I love you and um, go buy my merch. Hey, bye. Zoom into my vagina.